All right, now that we had some good experience creating a program to compute the area of a rectangle, let's go ahead and make this a little bit more difficult. Uh, instead of computing the area of a rectangle, let's write a program to compute the area of a circle. So I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna hit Control D or Command D, I guess, uh, which will select the next instance of a string that I had searched for. And I'm just gonna say circle, so compute the area of a circle. We'll still reference a JavaScript file. Um, let's see here. Enter the radius. Please enter the radius of your circle. And then I'll name this ID to just be radius. We don't need a second one of these. So I'll take that out. And then we'll call a function called compute area of circle. Okay, we can leave that output there. That'll be important. And then I'll just rename this function to compute area of circle. All right, so let's go ahead and save these and let's make sure that the program looks nice before we move on. Okay, so compute area, compute the area of a circle, please enter the radius of your circle and calculate. Okay, so that should be good there. Let's go ahead and work with the JavaScript a little bit. In here, I want to get the radius ID and then maybe I'll name this R instead of L, okay? But now I can delete that. To get the area, I need to do something like, uh, mm, what was it, like pi r2 or something like that. I think that was, the, that was the formula back in school for computing the area of a circle. You take the radius, multiply it by two, and multiply it by pi, okay? Let's learn how to do this in our next video.